So yeah, I actually haven't heard of that before. Um, I haven't really seen too much of Octarian Legion as a whole, but uh, I'm, so I'm interested to see how they perform now that you've said that they used to be like pretty up there. Because um, right now what we see is that they are, Octarian Legion is losing right now, by, uh, by a little bit at least, but uh, they do have the time and opportunity to be able to push this on up as the Rainmaker will be able to get yet uh, get Aquar yet another time. And Legend is pushing up pretty well with his teammates here. Uh, and, oh, no, just as I say, that new order is going to be able to take the Rainmaker and make away with that one. Yeah, just real quick, can I go at the time that you're at? Uh, 245, 244. Yeah, I'm a little behind you on your... Uh, okay. You can, like, take the wheel. Alright, cool. Uh, looks like the sniper's trying to get... Uh, oh god, Akbar, you're gonna stay a little bit too closely there in the Killer Whale as that's gonna pop in right on top of him, smack dab in the middle of the map. Spectre uh, doing their part to be able to uh, keep New Order out of there. They have 2 minutes and 20 seconds to come back. There's plenty of time for that, of course. Uh, as we do see New Order trying to get at least some semblance of in control. Uh, looks like the Slimer almost predicted where that uh, where Akbar was going to be, but somehow Akbar gets, gets onto Zarkith uh, while they 1v1 with both rollers, uh, but he soon goes down to an Octarian Legion member who uh, I believe will drop the Rainmaker immediately afterwards. So uh, with two minutes left on the clock, Octarian Legion, they have time to be able to recover from this, and it looks like they have made their pushes to at least put their orange ink on the map. I mean... If we look at the map right now, you look all around uh, Akbar right now, and there's a lot of orange around him, even towards his part of the map. And uh, Simon, I think this is going to be uh, in the last minute or so. We're going to see a little bit of a comeback coming in from Octarian Legion. That might be the case. Uh, we see um, right now Akbar doing his best to take care of some enemies right now. You see him taking out Legend with that Kraken, and they're trying to push Rainmaker towards the other side of the map, trying to get it away from them. They're doing a good job of it so far. I mean, before even they, before they even had the Rainmaker, they didn't even have very good in control uh, on their side of the map. And all of a sudden, they were able to push it at least to the middle of the map. Uh, and they still have control of it. And for that reason, it's going to be Akbar hopping over to his team's uh, Rainmaker. But they're going to lose it as soon as he gets there. Uh, and now he's going to have to sit back and play a little bit of a uh, safe, more passive role. Actually, no, excuse me. He's going to go absolutely in on Spectre as Spectre was trying to escape towards the left side. Maybe go around the back, but... Uh, he's going to be able to get the advantage there and get yet another person to get a sneaky kill on Octarian Legion's Legend. Two kills on the left alleyway. Uh, that's not going to happen once again as uh, Echo Locator has been sent out, so he can't play any more sneaky plays. But uh, regardless, it doesn't look like Octarian Legion's pulling off as, as much of a comeback as I thought. And now it seems as if New Order have a majority of the control on the map. We'll see how this one turns out. Yeah, they, they are just keeping the Rainmaker on the controller. Now letting any of the opposing players get near it. We saw for a good amount of time there, Akbar was just staying on their side of the map, getting as many kills as he can as he goes down with the Rainmaker there. It's a full wipe. They do have a chance to do something here. They need to get as much control as they can in the time it takes to get the team to respond. Yeah, and I think uh, that's a full wipe, especially from the part of Zarkith, who I think you got a double or even a triple kill with his Dynamo before going down, and now... Octarian Legion, you have one more chance. Uh, it hasn't looked too good for you the whole entire time. You have the Kraken coming off on top of you. The Dynamo Roller wasn't able to get on top of him. Nobody's, he's not even bothering for any of these players, but his teammates are able to protect him at least a little bit, but it's going to be too late regardless. Rainmaker is taken down, and that's going to be Octarian Legion losing their first matchup against New Order. New Order takes a 1-0 there. Yeah, good stuff from Noir. They they did a great job at just keeping the Rainmaker in check. They never let it they never let it get too far. Even when they had, even when uh, Octarian Legion had a lot of map control, uh, New Order's New Order's uh, they, their efforts were very focused on the objective, and uh, they did they did everything they needed to to just make sure that Octarian Legion didn't push with it. Which is you know that's how you get those wins. Yeah, and I, it has to be said that. Um, They've done a uh, pretty standard job so far, uh, at least in uh, at least in carrying out that game. Like so, like for the majority of the game, we saw pretty much a lot of territorial uh, advantage being taken by New Order, as, except for that slight lapse uh, in the middle of the game where Octarian Legion was seeming to build a comeback. Uh, but yeah, pretty standard game uh, coming in for New Order. It looks like a sub maybe happening for New Order potentially. I don't know. We'll take a look here and see if that is uh, the case. Yep. Um, I, I was talking to um, 
an Oxarian Legion member a little bit before I just hopped on the comps right now. And I was told that they were having a lot of internet issues with their players and actually feared even having to forfeit the tournament. So I'm glad that we are here to commentate the match. Oh, yeah. We do see a sub for Druid of New Order. Okay. Yeah, New Order, even even being in a position where they uh, were, they did have advantages, uh, or they have been winning. Um, they still are opting to sub someone out. Maybe it's not even, maybe it's not even out of choice, but um, they are going to go ahead and pull a substitution here as we are getting situated here. Assuming it is out of choice, you can tell that that just means this team is very, very focused, very dedicated, and they are ready to uh, do as best yeah. as they can in this tournament. Yeah, they, have, names, they, which have, is they have no qualms about, like, they, have, they, they aren't scared of pulling subs, which I know, like, um, I mean, for play for teams that are like just playing for fun, and th that's cool. Like I do that for I did that for plenty of the games that I played competitively. Uh, I would still play it for fun and not take it too seriously. But it's good to see that teams, especially going into a tournament like this, uh, are more than willing to sub at a moment's notice. Um, either way, either way, we're gonna go ahead and get started here. No subs on the behalf of Octarian Legion as uh, we do approach game two. Uh, on board macro, once again on splat zones, I feel like we saw this in round one way back when uh, I was casting a hope. Uh, but even then, uh, plenty do be seen here uh, as Octarian Legion still staying alive in this group, I believe. And by the way, this is coming in on group B, where if you guys do not know, uh, there's a lot of action happening in group B, group C. A lot of these... Uh, a lot of these groups have plenty of action going on, but especially these groups in particular that have uh, a lot of tight contestants for who will make it out. Keep in mind, it's only top two of each group. The top two performing teams in each group will make it out alive. Uh, and it seems that for group B, uh, we have Cooldown Splatoon, a French team that is two and one so far. Uh, New Order is one and one. And the Octarian Legion is 0 and two, and they need to be able to win this, uh, win this series in order to stay alive uh, for a hunt for second place, even. So, Really, this is a very important match for both of these teams to keep them to keep their hopes up alive. Uh, if New Order is looking to get hold on to first place, they really need to be able to win this one. So uh, they are on a good path to that. Uh, but so far, a much more close game than the last one. Uh, 97 to 87 right now, and potentially Octarian Legion getting control. Yeah, they get control and they put a penalty on, but not for too long. Yeah, we we saw. Good there. The slimy just went out for me, so I'm gonna. Uh, uh, I'm here. I okay. Was, no. I heard a different voice, and I just had to speak. Oh wait. Okay. I didn't. Know. Oh, sorry. I didn't. I, I thought that was. I thought that was you. That's supposed to be. Uh, so, yeah. No, we we were able to see that at least. But it looks like Otarian Legion has taken the lead right now. Uh, with this slight control they have have been able to have. Um, and keep in mind, important macro. Oftentimes you see very closely contested matches with not many points being scored. Uh, it's actually surprising uh, and a, an accomplishment on, on Alternate League's own right to have scored so many points at this point in time. Two kills going down just as I say that. Three kills, a quick triple coming in for Akbar as he goes absolutely in for his team and potentially even starts to get a penalty and a huge push for New Order as not only have they put down a killer whale and a wall, but they actually get control and put a massive penalty on another one going down uh, for Octarian Legion, and such quick in control being taken for this team. New Order seeming to come out on top out of nowhere, and really a lot of it on the on the behalf of Akbar here. Yeah, that, that was very very efficient play there. We we saw Akbar get the, the few kills he needed, and they immediately pushed up into control, which is what you want to see. That quick back thing is uh, going to keep you on top a lot of a lot of the, most of the game if you can consistently do that. And I have to uh, update our audience. The order is up two to zero. So if Octarian Legion, this is actually pretty much do or die for Octarian Legion. They are losing by six points uh, in this game alone. And if they need to, if they want to have a semblance of a chance to advance onto the next round, they need to win this one right now. They get Akbar there right before he can get that killer whale off, and that's going to be absolutely huge for them as uh, they need every single uh, advantage that they can uh, that they can amass in these couple of the minutes that we have left in this match. So far, Octarian Legion get control once again, and it looks like they might be under some pressure here. At least New Order is under some pressure. That's three down for New Order, and Octarian Legion might be taking, looking at taking the lead here. That is them taking the lead, and they still hold the lead and are still trying to push it even further. 
The order completely stuck in the base now. Yeah, no, we saw it. Thank you for putting that up because we see it right now. The Kraken is pushing them super far back, but Zarkin may have seemed to go a little bit too far. Kraken being activated for Octarian Legion. They still hold a territory on, on both uh, both Splatstones here on Port Mackerel, and that's going to be them carrying this probably to the win or at least to a very substantial lead with only one minute left to go, and we could very well be seeing them stay alive uh, in this best of five set. Yeah, we, we see we see Akbar doing his best here to to get the kills they control, but they aren't able to do it as Octarian Legion take out that game very convincingly with a knockout. They once once they establish control there, New Order they did a very good job of not letting New Order uh, get any footing, get any ground back, and they they completely shut them down both wow. times. Most most of the time they had the control. Yeah, no, and especially towards that that last push, I mean, they they just shut them out uh, towards the end. Um, but yeah, whenever Octarian Legion seemed to get control, and it, it, it wasn't just a moment's notice. It, uh, at least in that game, and, and that's it, it was more so um, a constant onslaught of offense that they brought, and which and that stands out in in the last game that we saw. Uh, that we didn't see any of that sort of offense coming in from Octarian Legion. Uh, maybe it was the Rainmaker, uh, but. Uh, maybe it was just the game time, uh, game time as a whole, but we're going to be moving on to Salt Spray Rig on Rainmaker, I believe. Is that right? That's I... that is a very uh, tumultuous map. Uh, it's very uh, constantly. I, I remember it being a hot debate uh, one or two months back, and I'm sure people still have their feelings regarding the very hot feelings about this map because Rainmaker, especially with the uh, middle part of Salt Spray Rig that juts out. Uh, towards the latter part of the map. Um, it's very easy for teams to just stall and delay and keep that Rainmaker there and just form a sort of fortress towards the back of Salt Spray Rig. Uh, and we'll have to see if it plays out to either team's advantage here. I'm sure whatever team that starts winning will employ that or at least try to employ that strategy. Um, but we'll see how it goes. This Salt Spray Rig Rainmaker. I haven't seen this one since uh, Inkstorm 1, I believe, actually. Um, yeah. I don't know if I'll turn. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, um, continue. I don't, I don't know if Octarian Legion had like more than one Kraken in that last game. It's they, that, didn't. That's they, what they didn't. They like. didn't. We'll see. Oh, we, we don't have a perspective onto like what their weapon composition is right now, so we can't really tell. What we do know is we do see a d dual squelcher coming in for uh, New Order, which isn't typically seen in most uh, team comps. Akbar still rolling with uh, his roller. Uh, Octoshock coming in, of course, with the E leader from BSME. Uh, so not too much of a. Not too, I don't think we are seeing any changes, but it's the first time I'm actually noticing that uh, that dual sculpture. Um, and yeah, this it's, is going to be an interesting one to watch. As, uh, yeah. the, this team composition is uh, pretty different from last game. We we see New Order uh, changing like just about their entire weapon loadout to reflect the, the new map in mode, which is you know them staying on top of things, trying to you know adjust themselves as best as they can to. Uh, to uh, perform as well as they can. So far, it's looking like that might be the case as Akbar is doing what he can to really uh, keep his team in this and just pull out the win as soon as possible, but Ontarian Legion uh, gonna take him out right from the get-go. Right now, Akbar trying to get back in the middle of the map as it looks like they don't have too much control over the range here. So it's very rig on Rainmaker seems to have like two different phases kind of. It has like a very offensive stage, you know, people fighting for the Rainmaker down on the bottom map or through mid and then a very defensive stage. Yo, that's quite the double kill. He comes on down from the second floor of that Salt Spray Rig uh, jump there in the middle and he gets a quick double kill. Akbar does for a new order. They're going to be able to push this one and take a lead really quickly actually, getting to that 78 point marker. Uh, waiting a little bit before they push any further. Uh, and they, he does have a path ahead of him, but it looks like the Kraken is going to be forced to activate, but they lose the Rainmaker regardless. Kraken is still going to do whatever he can to get rid of uh, the barrier around that Rainmaker, or at least whatever barrier is around the Rainmaker itself, but uh, he's going to have to back out as he sees. He doesn't have the most support possible. He uh, doesn't get hit by the Disruptor, still able to put some offense on, but he's going to have to get taken out quickly by that Sniper uh, from Octarian Legion. Uh, this time it's Spectre. Uh, doing their job here for their team. Uh, Octarian Legion still down by a sizable amount. They only really pushed it at the beginning of the map, and now my 
my key for uh, Kieran Legion is to be able to amass, first of all, get the kills they need, which it looks like they might be able to do it right here, getting two members in a row. Let's see if they're able to push this even further into further map control and objective control. And it looks like they're at their base right now, getting destroyed. <laughs> we, yeah, we, we, we see Zark if putting in a lot of work with the 96D. He still hasn't died yet. Oh, no, he just went down. Did I say that? I'm not sure if we're synced up, but from my perspective, that's what I was seeing. Uh, and right now, yeah, a little bit of uh, frame drops happening in terms of the qualities uh, on that end. But uh, right now, we do see, uh, ooh, oh, my two points! Octarian Legion nearly sneaked one by, uh, but it's not going to happen. They got the Rainmaker once again, but still not going to happen. They're trying to force it up this wall, but uh, Octarian Legion is spawning quickly enough to be able to at least front put on some frontline defense. Only two up for Octarian Legion, and I believe none of them close to this Rainmaker. Yeah, New Order's doing a very good job just keeping the Rainmaker at bay, just like they were the previous Rainmaker game. They, ha they have great positions just to not lose that. And we see Akbar jump off with it right there. So we're set it back to the middle of the stage. They're going to try for fight it at mid, get some in control that way. As uh, Altair and Ninja have to refocus their efforts a bit. Honestly, I think it probably was the quickest way to get it back. Yeah, no, and, and the, thing, the thing about that strategy is you have to keep in mind, will you be easily able to get to the middle? If so, this strategy is perfectly fine. And it looks like it worked out for them. Uh, I mean, we see them yeah, definitely. We see them playing this very patiently right now. Uh, and just getting whoever they can in their own like own comfort of their own time. Right now it's working. They are, they are going to be able to push it up above that wall, get it to the 30-point mark. Bro, what are you doing? He falls off. Akbar, what are you doing? He falls off at the most crucial point in time where they could have clinched the win. And maybe, just maybe, Octarian Legion might be able to take advantage of his at least at this point, relatively small mistake. Yeah. I think he was trying to get up onto that ledge to make that jump higher, uh -huh. but it was just really weird corner work there. He wasn't yeah, he able to pick it around that corner, unfortunately. It looks like they already got the uh, Rainmaker to that point, but now you, we see Akbar playing a very campy defensive game, which is smart on his part. Uh, but he's going to die very quickly, and that's uh, a trade, at least, on a, on a map-wide scale. It was a 3v3 really quickly. 45 seconds left to go in this one for Octarian Legion to be able to win this and force a game five. Massified happening in the middle, and it looks like Zarkis will be going down for Octarian Legion. Two down for the opposing blue team. As they don't have enough time or as much time as they'd like to be able to get one last one. And they really need to push for this Rainmaker. Uh, Akbar could do a huge, a hugely good job to be able to delay this push, but he realizes he's outnumbered here and he needs to push back a little bit. And they're going to set up a wall of defense for this, these last 10 seconds here. Akbar, what can your team do to keep them off? He has a Kraken ready at any point in time. And he's just going to get it. Where is Octarian Legion? Oh, they're dead. And they're going to just make sure to get it at the at the zero, point, or zero second marker. And they're going to get the victory on this one. Three to one for New Order. And they go on to having a two to one record in their group B. Uh, good job for them. And I believe that's going to be the end of the road for Octarian Legion, who uh, really needed one win to get the gear going, or get ball, the, get the ball rolling for them, but not going to happen just yet. Um, Shoutouts to Octarian Legion, though, uh, for coming in. I believe they've been a relatively a consistent uh, team to participate in all the Ink Storms. So shoutouts to them for giving it a go once again. But New Order uh, doing their part to be able to uh, maybe work their way towards securing a spot into the elimination stages. We'll have to see as uh, Inkstorm does have one or two more rounds left to go. Um, and we're gonna take a quick we're gonna take a quick break. Uh, as yeah, definitely some stream issues, and we want to of course improve this to whatever we, extent we can. But uh, New Order taking that win, going two and one in their group. Uh, and now we turn our heads to a round five, as I want to see how Group C's played out because uh, that res that whole group has been a kind of question mark for me. Um, and it, there's a lot of contestants in that group in particular. We also have to, to catch up on a lot of these uh, groups that we've been missing.